what is up guys welcome to the stream i am red slasher x how y'all doing youtube how are y'all doing how y'all doing great out there we are about to do top 10 poison pokemon yes poison pokemon we finally there we finally got there it's a lot of damn pokemon we've gone through so if you like what you see hit the like subscribe uh follow me on twitch you don't even have to like just make sure you just do all the above you don't have to like me or love this face just do it for support support a boy um so let's start this top 10 out right let's start it out strong let's do this number 10 we're gonna start out with that b drill yes b drill number 10 why b drill was gonna be a number 10 with or without that mega that mega made him really fucking sick looking but b drill already looks really badass for a pokemon if i just had top 10 badass looking pokemon the b drill will be up there he looks clean looks one who doesn't hate well bees are scary as fuck b huh, how do i say it's nice bees are fucking evil as it is this guy right here this pokemon was the greatest idea in gen 1 i think it's probably one of my favorite gen 1 bug type. actually one of my favorite bug types i don't think if i put it on there or not can't remember check check the bug list again but number 10 is beedrill love the look the mega makes it look a lot better it's still no uh vibes queen but it's up there so let's go with number nine Number nine is a good old classic. We're still in Gen 1. We haven't left Gen 1 at all. And that's motherfucking Venusaur. The Venusaur is number nine. The grass type, the probably the, oh no, the best Pokemon in Gen 1. Plain and simple, best Pokemon. You're like, no it isn't. You can't say that. Not best one. Best starting Pokemon. And I can say it. He's neutral and against almost every single person. Only loses to Sabrina and uh, Blaine. Everyone else, he's even or beats. It's the best Pokemon in the as starter wise in the game. So that's why it's like number nine. Yes, it looks retarded. Yeah, it looks like it has downs. Yes, it has like so many pimples, it's undamn real. But you cannot deny on how good this Pokemon is from the beginning to the end. Brock had no chance. Misty has no chance. Surge is whatever. It don't hurt each other. Sabrina dies. Erica, even. Koga, even. Blaine dies, of course. And Giovanni, even or wins. It's so good. Venusaur is number nine. Number eight, Ariados. Yes, the spider Pokemon. Um, one of my favorite up there, favorite bug types out there. Um, as you can see there's a lot of bug types out there. There's a lot of good bug ones. Um, Ariados is not strong at all. It's really squishy. It's ass competitively, but it looks really cool. Um, I like the look. I like the idea of having a spider. I mean, spider Pokemon are pretty cool. Spider in general is pretty cool. You just put a spider with the Pokemon over the top. I wish its stats matched its look. Which it doesn't. R.I.P. But there he goes. It's number. It's there you go. It's number eight again. I go by looks and who I like better. I see right now Venusaur might be the strongest, but looks like ass, and I'm not a biggest fan of Venusaur. Beedrill looks cool as hell, but I think Arius Dose looks better. Now you understand how my top 10 work. I think one thing looks better than the other. That's what I'm going to go with. Number 7. Senior Crobat. Crobat has to be like up here, right? And Crobat was... If there was no Crobat, there would be none of the Zubat evolution in the top 10 of anything. Except top 10 annoying ass Pokemon. Which I think might have to be a list one day. Eh, it might happen. Crobat. It's fast. Looks really cool. A lot bigger than I expected. I thought Crobat would be like a really small, really small Pokemon overall, but it ended up being a lot bigger than I was expecting. Uh, I love the look. Competitive wise, good Pokemon. Really fast. Does a lot of damage. Does the damage. It does damage. Speed plus damage equals your days. Be scared. So that's number seven. Now, you know, Crobat has no feet. 
I don't think Crobat has feet at all. And that's an honest question. Does Crobat have feet? Feet? If Crobat have feet, please put that in the chat because I don't think it does. Number six is Arbok. Hold up, turn down the TV real quick. Arbok is number six. Why Arbok is number six? Team Rocket, boy. Team Rocket. Team Rocket made me like Arbok. I'm not gonna lie. If there was, if Arbok was not in the anime, I probably wouldn't give two shits about this Pokemon. This is a sentimental favorite from the anime, and I had to throw it in there. And I again, Gen One is taking over this damn list. Gen One is taking over this damn list. No if ands or but about it. But Arbok, I love the look. I love the idea. Have a Cobra as a Pokemon. Pretty neat. Ekans, don't really care. Looks like a purple dildo. No one gives a shit. But when he evolved to Arbok, I was like, okay, Pokemon on point. But the thing is, I didn't really give two shits about this Pokemon until it was on the anime. Until Team Rocket. Until I felt sad that Arbok had to fly away. R.I.P. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Hope y'all know that. If y'all don't know that, you're too damn all young for this fucking top ten list. Watch Gen 1, watch the first anime, the classics. Uh, back to Arbok, looks badass. Love the idea of having a snake. Number six. Oh, hashtag fuck Survivor. Number five, Needle King and Needle Queen. They, they just don't go away. They were on the top five, uh, top ten ground Pokemon. Now they're in the top ten poison Pokemon. You, They have the power, they have the damage. They have the defenses, the health. They do work. They're number five on my list. Like, I I can't say no to this. Not I can't say no to this poke. These two Pokemon, you know, and I can't say Neo King or Neo Queen is better than the other because they're pretty much the same. Yes, Neo King has more damage. Neo Queen has a little bit more of the tankiness. So give and take. But these Pokemon are pretty much the same. Has about the same move base, uh, move pool, and. That's about it. I, mean, this, I can't say n one or the other. Set number five is Needle King and Needle Queen. If you have any idea, I mean, if y'all have your own top ten, make sure y'all put them down there. Am I missing a Pokemon? Am I missing a Pokemon? Being honest. Yes, they were, which is very convenient. Number four is Toxic Croak. You're like, whoa. Shocker. This is not number one in your list. No. These top four, this is the hardest decision I had on the top four in a long fucking time. I'm being legit as possible. Number four, Toxicroak. These last four Pokemon was the hardest decisions I've had in all my top tens. Except maybe with the uh, bug or normal type, I think. Maybe on grass. No, on grass was pretty damn simple. I can't remember which one it was that uh, gave me such a hard time. But number four is Toxicroak. Why? It's fighting and poison. Yes, it dies to Psychic. Duh. It gets destroyed. It gets destroyed by Psychic left and right. But, this is on my Rain Dance team. He is a good. If he has someone supporting him, keeps him alive, he will blow people up for days. He has the damages. Fairies, they run away from this Pokemon. They don't get like, oh, no, 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 we ain't playing as Toxicroak. Oh, hell no. Fairies run away. Ghost types, psychic types, are afraid of that sucker punch that might happen. Eh, eh, eh. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Water types be throwing surf on this boy. They'd be like, oh, thank you for the health. Are we strong, boys? I mean, that's what Toxicroak is. That's why he's my favorite, my number four favorite Pokemon. I think he's number one in fighting. You see, he absorbs the water, loves of loves Rain Dance, and has the power to fuck people up. Number four, Toxic Rope. Plain simple. That's my that's that's my boy right there. And he pretty much is younger or is pre-evolution state, but Brock in his place, let's be honest. Number three is Gengar. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Toxic Croak and Gengar? Both of them not in the top two? Red, are you drunk? I was drunk when I made this list. I'm not going to lie. 
I had a couple, couple lot of shots. Um, <laughs> a lot of shots that day. I made this thing. Gengar is number three, which is probably going what the fuck. Draco is on tilt right now. I see Draco going. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Who is higher than Dr Gengar and Toxicroak? Just saying, he's got y'all. Yo, some of y'all have to be on tilt. Like, okay, top. They don't even know who top two is. Throwing out the substitute out of nowhere. All right, so why Gengar is number three? One, he's OP as fuck. Two, he's my favorite singles po uh, competitive Pokemon. And three, his Mega Evolution is pretty much like the best. I think the best Mega Evolution in the game. No if fans or but about it. You're like what? Yeah, I think his uh, his Mega Evolution might be the best in the game. And if you ever see it on Pokin, OP as fuck destroys everyone. So, we all know about Gengar. He has the power. If you don't know about Gengar by now, then you've never been fucked by Gengar. And I mean, yes, the ghosts can't affect normal thing when they throw the D inside you. Watch out for that Gengar. Now, number two. Number two is... Mother fucking Muck. You think I was going to leave Muck out of my top five, four, three, number two? Muck had to be a number two. If you never watched my first gen videos, top ten first gen, Muck was up there. Muck was high on that list. I wasn't drunk. I remember shit. But I had to go through my old videos to make sure where I had Muck at. Muck's number two. Muck is OG. Muck's a beast. Why Muck beat Gengar? Gengar is poison and ghost. And ghost is number one. And poison, I don't like him. He dies a psychic. Muck? Don't die to shit. <laughs> Muck OP. Muck has a super fucking tank. Yes. Come backwards. You know what Muck is. It's come. It's okay. Yes. Muck is number two. Mizmi will be the happiest wherever the fuck she is. I said that whatever the fuck she is. Not where. What the fuck she is. About this damn Pokemon being number two. Muck is my favorite poison type of Gen 1. Gengar is my favorite ghost type. Not my favorite poison. I, uh, Gengar died to Psychic. Pissed me the fuck off. That's why I had such a hard time making Gengar into my top 10 list back in the day until I started learning the power of the Gengar. Muck, on the other hand, he, he's, a, he's a tank. He just chills there. He gives hugs to Ash, which is still weird a lot of ways. I think he hentai fucked him. That's a whole different point. He's tanky. He does decent damage. Like... What else is there to do? Like, what else is this? What else is better? It got Muck. One of the best poison types in the game in general. This takes a lot of damage. He's a tank. He does work. Same. Hashtag fuck wheezing. Hashtag fuck wheezing. You stand up for this? Well, number one's going to make sense to everyone else here. Because I think Muck is really good. But number one on my list is an easy number one and that's Roseade like you don't think I have Roseade my what second favorite grass type and my favorite poison type is Roseade you're like what you didn't think I would have my Roseade number one y'all know how much I love this Pokemon I've confessed rule 34 feelings over this Pokemon you understand I would pollinate the shit out of this Pokemon I'm going a little too far for all this I make it make that step we shouldn't have made I took a step there. I think I crossed that line I shouldn't have crossed. I don't... Humans and plant life shouldn't be fucking. All right? But Roseade is my number one. Y'all thought I would not have Roseade in my number one. Y'all understand that this Pokemon has Dazzling Gleam, right? It's a poison type. It's poison grass. It's the better version of Venusaur, except Venusaur has that thick fat or some bullshit like that. So... Number one, Roseade, boys. You, you didn't think? Y'all, see, I like putting my chat on tilt and making them go, what the fuck just happened? One, I put Toxicroak number four, which is weird. I understand, but Toxicroak is my top five. He's going to be a top five. Number three, I put Gengar. You're like, okay, who was number two? Muck and, and my whole chat went retarded. The whole chat is stupid. They're like, Muck, they, they die. Their brain just turned off. Put the Roseade in and fucking... Stream didn't even know Rose 8 was a poison type. 
God, my top tens are getting better and better. They're putting, they're just scaring everyone. They're like, they're surprising people. Ha, huh. sorry. Uh, Rose has a lot of damage, has a lot of tankiness. Um, lives for days, dies to psychic, and fire, and flying. Yeah. So there you go. That's my top ten list, and I, let me go through the pictures real quick and tell everyone what it is. Number ten is Beedrill. Number nine, Venusaur. Boy is bulky as hell. Number eight, the fuck area dose because I like them spiders over bees. Number seven is Crobat because I don't think Crobat has feet. Someone needs to tell me right now if Crobat has feet or not. Number six is Arbok, RIP Team Rocket. On that note, Team Skull is going to be looking clean as fuck right now. Team Skull looks really good. Number five is Nido King and Nido Queen. Why? Because they're the same fucking Pokemon to me. Number four is Toxic Croak because he's really fucking good and he needs to be up there. Number three is Gengar because he's OP. Number two is Muck because he gets no fucking respect. Respect the Muck. Respect thy Muck. Or backwards, take it to the face. Headshot. Money shot. Hope you all caught that. And number one is Rose because y'all disrespected the grass poison type, which is clean as fuck and has a lot of awesomeness. And if you watched my uh, Pearl and Diamond video, uh, finishing thing, whatever, this Pokemon, this Pokemon saved my ass a couple times. Pretty badass. So thank y'all for watching the top 10 poison type. I hope y'all like the top 10. I hope y'all give it a like. I hope y'all subscribe more. I hope y'all just give me all kinds of hugs and fun. Thank y'all very much for watching. See y'all next time.